To carry out any form of messaging, applications need to interact with queues. And for this, they need to connect to queue managers. CCDTs allow applications to do just that. A CCDT, or Client Connection Definition Table, is essentially an address book containing several channel definitions. Every time a new queue manager is defined, a corresponding channel definition must be added to the CCDT. Applications can then use this address book to get the information that they need to connect to queue managers. JSON format CCDTs have a simple structure, and a minimal channel definition would be comprised of the channel name, the connection information, so the host name and the port number, the queue manager name, and the connection type. Let's now look at an example of a basic CCDT, which you can find linked in the description, that consists of just one channel definition. This channel definition contains the information required for an application to establish a client connection to QM1. A client application would need to connect to local host at port 1415 using the TCP IP protocol. The type of connection created between the application and the queue manager is client connection, and all channel definitions in a CCDT should be of this type. The client connection name is dev.app.svrcon, and there'll be a corresponding server connection of the same name going from the queue manager to the application. When it comes to creating your own CCDT, you can use this example as a starting point and simply duplicate it for each of your queue managers, making minimal changes. You'll find links to more examples, as well as a JSON schema which you can use to validate your CCDT, linked in the description. Once we have our CCDT, we need to make sure it's in a location such that all client applications have access to the latest version. Guidance on how to do this can be found in the MQ doc linked in the description. The CCDT might seem complicated at first, but it really is just an address book that provides your applications with the information that it needs to connect to a queue manager. You hopefully now understand the different components of a channel definition and can create one of your own. For more information about the CCDT, check out the article linked in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.